Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for ZnSO4 plus SrOH2. We have zinc sulfate here. This is the sulfate ion and strontium hydroxide. So the first thing we'll need to do is we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. To balance the molecular equation, it's already balanced. So that's kind of nice. Now we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. So in general, sulfates are soluble. So this zinc sulfate, that's aqueous. Strontium hydroxide is considered to be a strong base. So we're going to say that this is soluble. Strontium sulfate, although it's a sulfate, strontium is an exception like barium and calcium. So strontium sulfate is very poorly soluble. And because of that, we say that it's going to be a solid. These two substances react. This falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we call that a solid. Zinc hydroxide also is very poorly soluble. So it's going to be a solid as well. So it's not often we have both of the substances being a precipitate. But in this case, that's what happens. Now that we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. We don't split solids apart into their ions in net ionic equations. So this is what we end up with. So this is the complete ionic equation. And note that we didn't split the solids apart when we did the net ionic equation. Both of these solids, they stay together because, well, they're solids. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. The thing is, everything is unique on each side. There's nothing that's the same in the reactants and then the products. Because of that, the complete ionic equation is the same as the net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for zinc sulfate plus strontium hydroxide. This is one of those interesting cases where we have two precipitates forming when these substances react. If we look at the charge in the reactants, we have 2 plus and then 2 plus. That's 4 plus. Then we have 2 minus. 2 times 1 minus is 2 minus. 4 minus. So that 4 plus and 4 minus, that gives this whole side, the reactants here, are a net charge of 0. And then the products, these are both neutral net charge of 0. Let me write the states and we'll have our net ionic equation for zinc sulfate plus strontium hydroxide. So there you have it, the net ionic equation for ZnSO4 plus SrOH2. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.